Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So last time, we made our way through the rest of Dragon Lake Castle and took out the Looking Glass Knights. I still say Mirror Knight's a better name, but you know, whatever. Anyway, so now we're in the Shrine of Armana and it's humongous and watery and shit. And frankly, it scares the crap out of me. And this looks like a trap designed to make you fall to your death, and you know what? We've fallen to our deaths way too many times, we are not falling for that shit. I believe we have a crossbow, yes. Now, I'm assuming if I shoot this, the branch is probably gonna break and then we can go retrieve it down the bottom somewhere. Sagoon that. I'm not falling for your trap this time, game. Okay, there's another pathway there. We will come back to that, but, uh... Yeah, so I'm gonna guess that most of this water's probably gonna be deep and we have to go in the shallow parts, cause... Yeah, that's, that's the sort of thing FromSoft would do. So, if that is the case, this is really gonna suck, cause it's really hard to see the edges. Just like in Dark Souls 1, so, uh... I'm fully expecting we are probably gonna drown here a million freaking times. It's like, even now, I can't really tell where the edges are. This looks safe, kind of. Like, I can barely see the ground underneath me. Okay, I I, this, I think this is safe, but I'm trying to be careful here. We got a large soul of a name, the soldier. That might have been what was on the branch. If it was, that was once again a really dickish move to put something not that great there just to make you kill yourself. Typical freaking Dark Trolls, man. Who the hell are you? Okay. Well, at least we know it's not deep water over there, otherwise he wouldn't have been standing there. Duh, you son of a bitch. That guy looks kinda cool, and he gives him booty. Got an arch tree helm and an old radiant life gem. That apparently is a really good life gem, and I assume by the name that these guys are probably the arch drakes. Which doesn't make much sense, cause... You'd think that would be some kind of a dragon, but... You know, whatever. No, we're not gonna wear that, cause it looks really silly with what we have. And now we look like a badass. Oh, hey buddy. Who the hell are you? Jump attack! Oh my god, it looks like a liquor from Resident Evil! That's both cool and horrifying at the same time, and I see some booty around there. And this guy wasn't standing in deep water, so... I'm a sh I think I see the edge. I was very close to that then. Oh, please let me through. I don't want to walk around! <laughs> oh look, there's blood everywhere! God damn it, man. How did this guy die? Looks like he got beaten up by the fella. Yeah, I was kind of hoping he drowned so we could see where he drowned, you know. Live and learn by other people's mistakes, but now, what booty do we get? A flame frickin' butterfly. At least we got some twinkling turn out, which once again seems to be rare as shit in this game. Yeah, I, I see the edge there. I see you, whatever that guy's name was from Avatar. I can never remember. And apparently there's another one down here. You sneaky peep. Okay, I'm guessing those dudes are gonna be everywhere, and they're probably... It wouldn't surprise me, they can probably do a grab attack if you go too close and, like, drag you under or something. God, deep water scares the shit out of me. I really don't know why. It's not like I nearly drowned as a kid or anything like that, but, uh, yeah, for some damn reason. Uh, maybe it's because I can't swim. And yes, I know, that's pathetic, but I, I can't freaking swim. I sink like a stone, so, uh, that might have something to do with it. Right, so we found some weird-looking building the thingamajig here, which, frankly, I feel like we're gonna get ambushed if we go in there, so I kind of... Oh, God! Damn, you got- oh shit, there's another one. You got some rage there, buddy. Well, we killed the- oh, they caused bleeding very quickly and we're nearly dead. No, oh, we didn't kill him, he's uh... Well, now we killed him. About freaking time. Now it's your turn, jump attack. Yeah, sit down, you like a wannabe son of a bitch. Anyway, kinda wanna check around the building just to make sure there's nothing around here and I don't really trust going in there because I feel like it's an ambush. Oh, we're getting cursed. By the pot right there. Duh, that was- that was the worst swing of all time. Holy shit. Right, I see a chest, and this... I know I say this every time. Okay, it's not a mimic. After the last one at me, I'm horrified by chests now. And we get some crimson water. Seems appropriate somehow. Water, water everywhere, and now we have a drop to drink. Which we're not going to, because frankly, it looks disgusting. Okay, I guess we're going in the creepy building, even though I don't trust it. I'm ready for you. Who's going to ambush me? Because yeah, I see the chick over there. Is this a trap? No, it's just a rug. Okay. Who the hell are you, then? We knew you were coming. Creepy! And stop singing. Even creepier. We are Milfanito. We are here to sing to those bound by death and dark. We will sing here forever. As we always have from long, long ago. We know nothing of the world outside. And why should we? For we will never leave. Lady, you are creeping me the balls out. Do you seek, K? 
King Vendrick? I think so. But what is a king, after all? We know nothing of the world outside. For we will never leave here. Yeah, you said that. When we sing, the little ones dance. The little ones grant comfort to those who bear death and dark. This is what we were taught. Is there anything wrong? Perhaps this will help. Free booty? Oh. This is all that we can do. You suck. When we sing... Okay, okay, apparently that's all she's got to say. That might be the creepiest chick I think I've ever met in any game ever. We sing and make the little ones dance. We will never leave here. We comfort those who bear death and dark. Oh, and by the way, we'll never leave here. Well, all right then. What I did notice that uh, she looks exactly like that chick we saw in the cage. You know where there was like the weird old chained up upside down fella on the door and we needed some kind of a key? I can't remember what the name of the key was. It was like the key to the forbidden or beholden or... I don't think it was either of those, but it was something like that. And I see you there, you liquor bastard. God, I love jump attacks. And there is so much booty over here and a lot of enemies. <laughs> all right then. I wonder what the little ones are that she's talking about. Oh, wait a minute. It's like, ouch! Dick! It's like a uh, glowing... Oh god, that's not good. Yeah, I'm, I'm really out of stamina here. But so uh, yeah, there's glowing things above the heads... I tried to parry him, that was a really bad idea. There's glowing things above the heads of the liquor fellas. Maybe they're the little ones? That's my assumption, I really have no idea. I want to kill this guy, my god! Sit down, you bastard! Damn, that was irritating. And there's blood over there. Oh, there's another one. But yeah, you can see there's like uh, little glowing-y sort of... I don't know, torch bugs or something above their heads? Maybe that's what they're talking about, and it does seem like they indicate where they are, because you can't always really see them, so, uh... Yeah, that's kind of handy if that is the case. I'm gonna human FG. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I see an edge over there. Careful. Okay. Don't go in the water. Don't go out on the moors. Hey, look at buddy. How you doing? God damn, I screw up the... Oh, shit. I screw up the jump attack so damn much. Except that time, apparently. Yeah, get out of here. Hey, we got some booty, but first let's deal with this guy. I love that attack so much. Okay, the other one hasn't seen me yet. Apparently he's blind as shit. Yoink, give me that booty. Soul of a lost under- Oh god, and a torch. Okay, so I'm gonna go out on a limb here and assume we're gonna need the torch for something. There was the area right at the start where we could light the torch. Oh, it looks like we can light them over there as well. There seems to be a bunch of places where we can light the torch. I- I don't know where the edge is here, but I'm assuming he can't be in the deep water. Maybe they can, maybe they float with something. They'll be like the ultimate troll. Like, you see one of them and you're like, oh, he must be in the shallow water. Nope, he freaking floats. Oh my god, that would suck. I really shouldn't sh say shit like that, because it'll probably give game developers ideas. Don't do that, FromSoft, if you're watching. You're not watching, thankfully, for once, but, uh, yeah. I've got, uh, a Skeptic Spice and another Crappy Soul. Well, fantastic. This is what always, uh, kind of weeds me out somewhat. I don't know if that's the correct word, but, like, uh, it just seems a little strange to me. Like, when you get really deep into, like, a Souls game, and you start finding really shitty Souls, I'm like... So you're telling me, like, some regular shitty soldier just came here and died. How did he get here if he was nothing special? Like, surely at this point in the game, you should be getting Hero Souls left, right, and center. That's my assumption. And we have a, a chest, which is apparently not a mimic. I remember the last chest in water, that was a mimic, so, uh, you know... Better to be safe than sorry. It's not a trap. And we get a dragon charm. Great. I think they cure poison and restore HP or something, so I guess you know they're not that bad, but... You just expect something a bit better out of a chest, don't you, really? At least I do. I think it's shallow over there, and it looks like maybe if we go... Oh god, this is so freaking scary. The shadows, are like the, uh, the reflections and everything on the water are really confusing. But say, uh, it looks like maybe we can hug this and go right now. It ends right there. How are you supposed to get over there? I guess from somewhere completely different, so we're not gonna do that shit right now, because... I don't want to die here, but let's be honest. I'm gonna die, and I'm gonna die to falling in the deep water. However, it would be nice if I could die to an enemy first. As much as, trust me, I see a fog out over there, that sucks. But uh, as much as I don't want to die to an enemy, I'd rather die to an enemy first than drowning, because... I don't want to drown, man! I don't want that to be my first death, and holy shit, there's a lot of liquors in there. And uh, a mushroom person who's not blue. Okay, so I'm guessing you're like a more potent version of the mushroom person. Maybe this guy has toxic or something. That would freaking suck. 
Okay, I guess we should go in here and deal with the liquors, because it looks like they're guarding booty. I'm pretty sure I see a metal chest over there. Okay, apparently they're like not paying any attention whatsoever, and they got the other uh, weird glowing things around their heads as well. So, they're like the Milfinito calm them or something when they're singing? Maybe? I really don't know. How do we make them sing? Does it just happen? I don't get it, man. I do not get it. I mean, I guess we could kill her and then she wouldn't be singing, but it just seems like a bad idea to me. I really feel like this is a trap and I don't have my shield up. Tactical roll! Okay, it's not a trap, just making sure. We got Toilet Tana and the Smooth and Silky Friggin' Stone. We really need to go back to the crows. They have names, but I just don't know them. I don't know how you're supposed to know the names. Maybe they're in, like, the official guide or something, but, like, if you're not using a guide, where do you hear the names in the game? Are their names even in the game? I really have no idea, but we're gonna go over to this, uh... Creepy looking possible boss door over here. And yeah, I, I really feel like this is gonna be a boss. I'm ready for you. It uh, doesn't seem to be a boss. It's very blue. Double D, double D. And it's more watery shit. Well, fantastic. I'm guessing we're supposed to see on the path here. But again, it looks like there's some shallow water. So, it seems like one of those things like, if you risk going off the path, you can probably find booty. But equally, probably frickin' drown. How did this guy die? Uh, he looks like he's dual wielding. He was dual wielding the same club as me in, like, the Zweihander, I think? What a tit. What an absolute tit. Oh, great, I'm being shot at by a freaking mage. Well, does this place want to suck anymore? Dear water and mages, they apparently have humongous range. Get up. That's not a backstab. Apparently, I missed you completely, and then you hit me. Oh, there we go. We got our backstab. Boom, son. Oh, there's another one. Well, fantastic. And now we're out freaking stamina. So we're just gonna. Oh, da 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 da. Are they homing? I swear that called at me. Maybe that's my imagination, but I swear to God that spell called at me. Please tell me they're not homing as well. That would really suck. I, uh, I thought I saw a... Oh, there is one over there, but uh, I thought I saw one closer. Well, that one didn't seem to home, so yeah, I don't freaking know. Ah, uh -huh, dodged. Maybe they don't home because they don't seem to be curling at me now, but I swear that one did, so... Yeah, maybe they've got, like, a different spell? One homes and the other one doesn't? I don't know, but, uh, also I possibly imagined it, because I tend to do that things. But yeah, this place looks freaking awesome. It just kind of scares the crap out of me. You know, mages everywhere with humongous distance, possibly homing spells, and deep water freaking everywhere. And you can't even really see the edges, so, uh, yeah. Looks beautiful, but deadly as hell. Yeah, that, that's not dying. Oh, god, god damn, man. I don't know what is up with the club, but, like, when you do the sort of spinny attack like that with a one hand... It's really kind of hard to control. It goes all over the freaking place. Like, you really have to be accurate with that shit. Otherwise, you end up with your back to the enemy. And then it's like, you are gonna take some damage. Possibly even die. So, uh, yeah, maybe that's intentional, but I doubt it. But, you know, maybe it's like a balancing factor of the club. It's really good, so it's hard to control, but I doubt it. That looks like a ramp. So, I'm guessing we want to go up that. I also want to be really careful here. I did not mean to do that attack, but it works. Uh, you know, whatever. Okay, like a buddy is dead, there's more blood here, holy shit. How do we get on the ramp? Can we not get on the ramp? I did not mean to click you, but, uh, whatever. Okay, well, screw it, I guess you can't... Wait a minute, surely you have to be able to get on that. Maybe I need to, like, jump from... Maybe this is, like, one of those weird wonky... Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, like, weird wonky platforming thingies. And there apparently was absolutely no point in me doing that. Well, we got a good vantage point, and we could possibly plunge and attack someone, but... Yeah, seems kind of pointless, and I see another giant building over there, and there's another place to light our torch. Which again, maybe I should be doing that, because we're probably going to need it at some point, but we have flame butterflies, so... It really doesn't matter. I think we got like 20 or something, so, uh... Yeah, not a huge concern. And then again, it wouldn't surprise me if there's some bullshit, like, you can't use a flame butterfly when you're in the water. That really wouldn't surprise me, but then again, that... Well, no, I... It kind of is and kind of isn't in the water, so, yeah, who freaking knows? Apparently we can't fit in there. You fat bastard. And we got a fire seed. Not the place I would expect to pick one of those up, but you know, whatever. And we can go out here and there's blood. Well, fantastic. Oh, and a lizard guy. He's right near the edge. Careful. Okay. A little bit more than I would have gone straight in the drink. I'm shocked that I haven't drowned so far. Or died to anything. That's just shocking to me. And uh, I'm a little bit proud of myself. Is that an ogre? That's one of those hip ogre thingies. And by the way, I'm copyrighting that word. Hip ogre. That's badass, but... uh. Yeah, there's a big one of those over there, so, oh, great, oh, freaking great, yeah, they do curl, they totally curl, they don't home as much as I was expecting them to, but, yeah, they definitely home, so, uh, that sucks, and that was not the attack I meant to do, luckily, oh, god, there's another one, good lord, and it's really annoying I can't one-shot them, I mean, I know we're really late in the game now, at least I think so, but, 
Yeah, if we can one shot them, it will make my life a whole lot easier, but that's never gonna happen, so... Yeah, I kinda need a drink, that's gonna hit me. That was the worst time ever to drink. I mean, I guess we're back at full HP, so it doesn't really matter, but still. Oh, <laughs> thanks for coming to me, buddy. I'm pretty sure I would've missed you had you not done that. And there's another one there. Stop shooting me, you mage bastard. My god, at least that one hit the freaking pillar. Okay, we're going for the guy. We're gonna try and keep on this pebbly path thingy here, because I get a feeling there's gonna be deep water everywhere else, and holy shit, that did a lot of damage. And now there's a lizard coming at me. Well, shit. Okay, well, it's just the one so we can probably handle it, but uh, Oh, God! <laughs> that actually gave me chills. I was so not expecting that. That was literally... Like, imagine the most frightened you've ever been in your life. You know, like, if you're scared of spiders, or... You're playing amnesia, or whatever the scariest thing that's ever happened to you. That was that right then. A chill went down my spine. I was not expecting that. Holy shit! And that really sucks, because now I've got to run back again. And uh, I guess we should check out here down this pathway whilst we're here, but... <laughs> God damn! <laughs> I... I'm not kidding. I really jumped in. Holy hell. Okay, oh, there's a mushroom fella in here. What are you doing hiding behind the boxes? That... I know exactly what it's going to be. That's going to be armor corroding shit, isn't it? You mushroom bastard. I think I prefer the toxic. I'm glad this one ain't a mimic either, apparently. And it doesn't seem to be a trap. Okay, and we get a wilted dust curve and some space. So in other words, mage shit, which we don't need. Well, we might need it because I meant to mention this, but... When we beat the game, we're obviously going to do New Game Plus, but we're not going to do New Game Plus right away. And that's freaking silly, and I want to play Demon's Souls, so when we finish New Game, we got to take a break, play Demon's Souls, then we finish Demon's Souls, we're going to come back, do New Game Plus on the same character, but we're going to respec him into a mage, so we start New Game Plus as a mage, basically. But, uh, yeah, that's the plan anyway, so, yeah, give me a moment here to get back to where we died. Okay, well, we're pretty much back where we done. I've noticed these roots over here, and as we know, we can break them, so stop shooting me. And there's a door over here. It's locked. Am I surprised? No, no, I'm not. I'm guessing that's going to be some kind of a bonfire or something, so we're probably going to need a key. And here's my assumption. we probably got to kill that giant Hiboga and get the key from him, because that would be the dickish thing they could possibly do. Hey, kill this dickish optional ogre thingamajig, get a key to a door that you probably will never find. So, uh, yeah. That's my assumption. I may be completely wrong, but th that's why I'm going to assume. And I'm still getting shot. Good lord. Look at the range on this motherfucker. And the egg he just killed that round the pillar. Stop with that shit. <laughs> just stop it. Okay, but yeah, anyway. We are basically back where we died. You can see Ogre Buddy over there. Well, he's not Ogre Buddy. He's Ogre Dick. Ouch. I can't believe they hit me and did so much freaking damage. This place is the worst place on Earth. It might... <laughs> It might already... We haven't even drowned yet, and I'm already condemning it. This might already be worse than Brightstone Cove. I'm gonna go out on the limb and say that. Because holy shit, this is humongous and dangerous as hell. And there were no freaking Hippogas in Brightstone Cove. And uh, yeah, we're gonna load this guy over here, kill him. And then we're gonna try and arch these bastards, because... Yeah, I don't want to be fighting three freaking Lickers, plus the Ogre Buddy, plus the Mage. And there's more mages over there, which you never know with that humongous range, they might start shooting me as well. So we have to limit the numbers as much as we possibly can. Okay, somehow they hit you. I don't know how, but I will take it. We got another human effigy. So it seems like if you want to farm human effigies, these guys might be decent. Not that this is a good place to come. Like, why would you come here optionally? Good lord. Right, I know there was another one over there. I think that's him. I can't really see because of the reflections. And we got him. That's, my friends, is sharpshooting. Also, probably bullshit luck. And we got another effigy, holy shit. <laughs> I do not want to fight that ogre. But there's my bloodstain, so, uh, yeah, we get trying shooting this dude. I'm guessing this is going to hit the pillar from here, so we're going to have to go around the side. This, this is not going to work, is it? God damn it. Yeah. okay, I'm going to get shot here if I'm not quick. Boom, okay, and get back behind the pillar, okay. Very close, but we got away with it. Right, now, now this bastard, now that should be everyone in range of the freaking ogre, at least for now. Well, I mean, obviously besides the mage, that kind of goes without saying. Can't we draw the ogre over? I get the feeling he's going to be out of range. Maybe I'm just missing, but yeah, I feel like the, the bolt just doesn't travel that far, which really sucks. Really, I really hate when games do that, it's like, people can arch from like, a mile away. Okay, that might be, you know, a bit of an exaggeration, but... It, it, Bow and arrows and shit, especially crossbows, go a long freaking way. Yeah, he's a fair distance, I'll grant you that, but like, damn. 
It should at least go over there, good lord. Okay, we hit the mage. Well, we can kill him at this rate. We have probably enough... But good lord, that did a lot of damage. We have probably enough bolts to do so. Kind of boring, kind of cheesy, but... I feel like the game's left me with a little choice here. We could run over and smack his tits off and, you know, then turn around and fight the ogre, but... Why risk it, you know? Why freaking risk it? Okay, it's dead. It's finally dead. Now, we might be able to do the same thing to the ogre, like shoot him from far enough away that he doesn't aggro on us, but I very much doubt it. And I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing else around and it's going to jump me there. All of a sudden, he's that I can't see. But it's great. Oh, there's another one. There's a lizard fella over there. So we're going to back the hell up. Oh my god, he tried to do the crab attack on me. And he had some serious range on that shit. Now, this might be in my imagination, but does this look to... Oh god, don't roll in the deep water for Christ's sakes. Does this ogre look bigger to anyone else than the ones we killed in the, uh, the things betwixt the beginning of the game? Now, I'm not saying he's, like, hugely bigger, but he looks a little bit bigger, so... Yeah, and he's, he's almost certainly got more HP, and apparently really bad AI. Which, frankly, I'm okay with. Ah, we seem to be out of his aggro range here. That's handy, but still, he could just lunge at me and grow. Oh, good lord! What? Okay, my ring's breaking. Well, that sucks. But, uh, yeah, he could just lunge at me and grab me, so we still gotta be careful of that shit. Come at me, bro, just... Okay, he's backing off. I guess we kind of need to change this ring, but we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to hope that it lasts, but it probably won't. If he smacks me again, it might break, but, you know, if it does, it does. Uh, da -da 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 -da. uh oh, okay, okay, we're not going to die. We're fine. <laughs> we are fine. Okay, we don't have his range, he's doing the job. <laughs> don't do that crab attack, man. You understand that shit? You can do the uppercut all day long. Okay, he's dead. May he rot in hell. Please never come back. Don't respawn, and for Christ's sakes, I'm talking to me now. Don't die on me, because I don't want to have to come back and deal with that guy again, because you just know he will respawn. Like, holy shit. Hey, buddy. How's it going? You want to club to the face? I thought so. Oh, God, it feels good weighing on those little dudes. It's, it's like being the playground bully. The big guy beat me up, so now I'm picking on the little fellas. And yeah, I... Clearly we can go over here, because the ogre buddy was standing over here, but I kind of want to see how far we can go. Okay, the edge is there. Thank God I actually found that. Okay, careful. Careful. Don't fall in the deep water. It's going okay so far. Yeah, there's like, uh, there's like a peninsula over there and a freaking mage, and I'm pretty sure I just saw some booty going past him, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> you sons of bitches from soft. <laughs> God damn it! I swear to God, this might be in my imagination, but I swear there was just like a little triangle of ground just cut out there. Exactly so you walk along there thinking it's safe and then just fall down that little bit of ground that they cut out. Like a complete dickhead. <laughs> God damn it, you trolls! Wait a minute, are you shitting me? I just saw a bonfire over there. How did I miss that? You know what? I don't care. Just go. Yeah. Okay, like that shit. Yes, bonfire gets off. Alrighty, I'm going to end it here. Next time, we take on the rest of the Shrine of Armana and hopefully get the hell out of here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, and I will see you next time for more Dark Souls 2.